What's going on, y'all? Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 7, Episode 10. Um, Let's get right down to it. Okay, so this episode starts off with the infamous scene that we left off with in the previews last week. Claudia and her feet. So, Kenya and Claudia, you know, they supposed to be friends. And I'm just saying that they don't really know a lot about each other to be friends. But, okay, we're not going to get into that. Um... So, they go to this doctor, Claudia. I will give Claudia A for effort for having the balls to show them hammer toes. Look, them, oh my God, I ain't never seen toes like that, okay? I have never seen feet like that. You know, they about to get ready to go to Puerto Rico. Demetria basically um, sending them down with an all expense paid trip to Puerto Rico, probably on Roger Bob's dime, you know, to see her perform or whatever the fuck. Don't go over to my country just acting fucking crazy. But, anyway, I'm all here for the shade and bullshit that's about to happen over there. But I'm trying to see how, uh, you know, we, we just want to see how it go get down to that moment. So, then, you know, Claudia take her shoes off and, Jesus Christ, them coins look like they still got puffs in them. Them coins just look like somebody, it look like Hocus Pocus put a spell on them, okay? Them some warts or some shit. It look like the Crips and the Blood just going at it on each other. It's just, it's like a game war on her feet. I was just so confused about what was going on. Like, what was she scraping on? And she couldn't have been scraping rocks because they wouldn't been like that. Like, like King said, you don't bring barnacles to the beach. This bitch already got them on her feet. Like, you know, you know your shit is fucked up when your own friend can shade your ass about it. But at least she took it in stride and she knew that her shit was fucked up. And the doctor was like, this ain't even, this a very mild case. I said, damn, it's worse. It's fucking worse. But, um, her shit just looked terrible. It's like, take a needle. I just wanted to take a needle and just bust that shit. You know, I don't know. I, like, let me just tell y'all something. See, my mom, back in the day, my mom had corns on her pinky toes, okay? And, yeah, let me just tell you something. My mom was, the mom was like, Bring your ass down here. Get the uh, toenail clipper so you can come, you know, clip my um, coins and shit. Yeah, I used to clip my coins, okay? And they never look like that. Them bitches blend in to her skin. They didn't look pustified and, and just, ugh. They just didn't look like that, never. How do your shit get like that? But Claudia said she was an athlete, so it's athlete foot. I mean, I guess that can happen. But it also looked like because she wore them heels. I be thinking about that, too. Y'all be wearing them heels all the goddamn time. Let your feet breathe, bitch. Ain't nothing wrong with putting on some casual shoes, some um fucking sneakers, sneakers or whatever the fuck. Let them toes breathe, okay? If you were size nine, don't try to squeeze into a size five, bitch. Fuck, fuck that. Be comfortable, Psst, bitch. Okay. So we move on to um Candy meeting up with Demetria, and basically she wants to talk to her about what happened at um you know her little the little sex party or whatever and a little bomb that go shay had dropped about roger bob you know demetri is so deep in denial it just don't make no sense i still we all sitting here i don't think nobody nobody after seeing last week episode left that thing thinking that go shay was lying like like but demetri did demetri felt like she was lying girl i don't come on now come on now you was on and off she probably did fuck her on the time that y'all was off but, you know, whatever the fuck. And um, Candy was basically trying to see was everything cool. And she said it was. And, you know, they moved past that, all that shit. And then I knew this was coming. Demetria was like, you know, because I know you're a businesswoman. And I know you, you know, you got all this money and all this stuff. And you do this. Do you miss the stage? I just want to work with you. Like, I just want to link up. I said I knew she was going to ask to work with her on the um, music front. And, you know, Candy was like, mm, because, you know, she was like, I vowed never to work with some people, These the people in these group like that, you know, after the shit that happened with um, Kim. And that's probably your fault, Candy, because you've been in this music business a long time and you don't know how to go about the business and get the paperwork and all that shit together so that you wouldn't have these misunderstandings about who get what and how much of. Uh, mm-hmm, that was your fault. Okay, you know better. And, um... I was like, I knew that shit was going to happen. Candy, like, I ain't never hear her sing or whatever, so I don't know how she is. And I mean, Demetria got a nice little voice, okay? And, you know, coming from the Tyler Perry plays and stuff, she got a nice little voice. And I heard her little sing was cute for what it is. But, um, girl, next thing you know, they started talking about some 
she got the lipstick candy and candy like when he come home and you giving him head put the lipstick candy turn it on and put it on the, his balls and all this stuff and it's gonna just blow his mind and i got the panties that you know with the remote control i said oh y'all some fucking freak oh my god for real y'all got that yes that's how they was you know and i was just sitting here like clutching my pearls like Y'all some freaking, y'all don't need to be talking about this, but continue because I'm interested. Like, you know, I kind of like it. You know, go ahead and be open and one with yourself. Everybody got a freak in them. You know, we all know Candy just love to talk about sex, so it don't matter. But anyway, we move on to Cynthia at the Bailey Agency and King and me sell with her, basically talking to her, Cynthia's, um, her little assistants. And, you know, they're trying to hold auditions, I guess, to, uh, interviews for Kenya to have, um, assistant girl who gives a shit but they started talking about what happened at the little thing with nene and how nene was being and basically saying she's one way and then all of a sudden she want to flip and do another way and you know kenya was being a little bit shady in her confessionals but on this particular subject i was very much here for kenya because she was being shady as fuck <laughs> like she ain't had to do that you know, it was just unnecessary, and I mean, if you don't talk to a person, you know, it's called being cordial in public, okay? You could have been cordial. You ain't have to shade her like that, swerve her like that. I mean, not especially after we kind of made up and said we was going to be cordial, but then, you know, that's Nene. That's Nene. Nene ain't been the same since she went and got that first nose job, okay? So, it is what it is. Um, I'm just... I don't know. Y'all just need to let it go because, you know, Nene going to be Nene. So Nene and Phaedra, they go into the studio to meet up with Demetria. And Demetria's in there, you know, singing and she sounded good. Now, now, this is what we're talking about. We all know that they shade each other in the confessions, but we'll never ever say this shit to them, uh, to them people in, in their face right in there at that scene. Nene going to say... So I get into the studio and, she, oh, girl, you sound good. I almost wanted to jump in that booth with you. In her confessional, what she said is, hmm, it's nice to actually see somebody, you know, all these girls that claim that they can sing, it's nice to actually see somebody who can actually sing or some shit that she said. And I said, wait a minute, who are you shading in this crew? I was like, so are you trying to say Candy can't sing? Let me just tell you something. The little shade that Nene threw, I do believe it was towards Candy. But, you know, you have to... Candy does has a different voice. It's an acquired taste, okay? It's not for everyone. And it can be annoying as hell. But, you know, she can't carry a tone. But I was like, shade, bitch. God damn. See, Nene is nice nasty. Like, she just... I don't think her and Candy would ever be friends like that. Like, they're cordial. Mm -hmm. They're associates. They're acquaintances. But they would never be friends because it's just too much. But, um... They started off wrong, and it just, uh, she just can't be, she, she that, Nene that type of person that just can't stop being shady for nothing, okay, regardless, and sometimes it's needed, sometimes it's, and most of the times it's unnecessary, but, you know, that's fucking Nene, it's like, you can't even get fucking upset because she gonna do what the fuck she want to, but anyway, moving on from that, Phaedra was sitting up in there, they asking about these questions, like, girl, so what you want to do? Phaedra, you know, they talking about what happened at the event and talking about Roger Bob and did you talk to him about this and, you know, what did he say? And, you know, Nene gave her some good advice. Don't ask that man to marry him, marry you. You know, let the dog come to the cat or whatever. He want to do that shit, you know, that shows that he truly cares. Okay, I was here for that. But Phaedra, what the fuck was up with Phaedra? Phaedra was in that studio asking all 21 questions like she was in 50 Cent's video, okay? I'm asking 21 questions. I was like, what the hell, Phaedra? Uh, what made you want to be a singer? Are you a singer? Are you an actress? What is it? Uh, how come you didn't want to come out when you was like a fresher flower? I mean, how old are you? Um, what do you do? Oh, did you do crack? She was like, you know, be like Janine off of, um, you know, be like crackhead Janine. And then they was like, who? Or like Janine. Character I played on House of Pain. She did crack. Do you do crack? I said Phaedra. Phaedra, girl. It was just, to, to me, I like Phaedra, but all this shit is unnecessary. You know it was unnecessary when you got um, Nene in the confession. Like, now I know she going through some shit, but damn, Phaedra. You know, it's just like, girl, stop it. Then you got um, 
the group is clearly divided. Everyone is going to Puerto Rico, but everyone is arriving, like, in the set group. You got Demetria Kenya, no, no, Demetria Candy and Portia, you know, they leave first, and, um, Portia look good. Regardless of what y'all say about her, and we all can say about her, because we can say a whole bunch of shit of not-so-nice things about Portia, because Portia just takes you there sometimes, and you just be looking at her like, bitch, just be quiet, and let me look at you, because you fine, but don't open up your mouth. But, you know, she looked real nice, okay? And then, like, everybody looked kind of nice, okay? I'm not even going to shake them. Everybody was nice. But then in the car, you know, the separate car, you got Claudia, Kenya, and um, Cynthia. It's almost like the Talls versus the Smalls again, but a different name of the group. You know, remember when they had the Talls versus the Smalls? They broke them up in a group like that again. I guess the other three are beasts now. That's what they want to call them. Here goes Cynthia. Just because you look like a beast don't mean that you got to act like one. But bitch, with all that Ricky the raccoon um, fucking eyeshadow that you got on in your goddamn confessionals, who the fuck you look like? Okay? You look like an animal too. Now, peacock ass out of here. Stop this. I just wish they stopped that bullshit because they want to backtrack when they get to the reunion and don't want to own up to what they said in the confessionals and shit. I hate that. But anyway, you know... And, of course, I'm assuming since it was just Claudia, Kenya, and um, um, Cynthia in that car, Nene going to be there on her own, being Miss Diva as she is. Like, girl, what the fuck? They get there to the place, and, you know, they got to uh, flip coins who going to get the up, the two upgraded rooms, and, you know, uh, Demetria and uh, Portia got them. Demetria, in my opinion, since it's her trip, she should have got it in the first place. Here's my thing. They asked her, is Bob, Roger Bob coming? No, because he has this premiere or a movie or something that he's working on that he has to attend to. And I'm just sitting here like, so y'all been on and off for eight years. You kind of hidden this relationship. We just started finding out about it. Not that we care. But every time you have an event, he's never there to support you. This is not a, it just don't, I don't care. Like, at least be on the sidelines or say that I'm going to pop up and surprise you or some shit like that or whatever. He's just never, it's two events that went past in these two, these episodes that Demetri been on. And he's not showing up once to, um you know, support her. And I'm like, are you sure you're in a relationship or this is just your sponsor? You talking about some, oh, he can give me $80,000 bags and, you know, that makes you giddy and happy. But fuck a bag, bitch. I want you there on my arm and, and, and showing that you really support me. You can, anybody can throw money at a bitch. That don't mean that they support them all like that. I, you know, some people throw money at a bitch to shut them the fuck up and get out their face, you know? He just like a fucking sponsor. I'm just confused. Aren't y'all confused? Hmm. So, you know, the rest of the girls get there, and I forgot about Phaedra. Phaedra was going to be there. She comes with Nene, of course, so it's like three different groups or whatever. But, you know, Nene and Phaedra kind of intermingle with, you know, Portia and them a little bit. But my thing of it is, you got um, Demetri and them out there on the terrace or whatever. They talking, and they trying to, you know, talk about uh, if everything's okay, and... You know, how come, you know, uh, uh, Demetria's been out there a few times with Roger Bob. And, you know, she was like, everybody seems fine. But she just can't really read Phaedra because Phaedra, you know, is giving her a little bit too much. And I'm, y'all know I kind of like, I like Phaedra. But I can call a bitch out when she needs to. And the shit that Phaedra is doing is totally fucking unnecessary. I'm not getting where all this shade is coming from. Like, how the fuck are you shading you and Nene? How the fuck are you shading the bitch that's giving you a free trip? I don't give a fuck if Bravo really paying for this or Roger Bob is paying for this. But it's in the name of Demetria. And bitch, she invited you on this goddamn trip. And you shading the fuck out of her. Because she didn't have to invite your ass nowhere. But Chad, you know... I guess she felt comfortable enough to tell them, you know, she just don't get it. And, you know, of course, Candy's ears perked up because Phaedra is her friend. And then even Portia was like, she kind of like shaded you when she was asking you those questions. And in the confessional, she was like, uh, Portia was like, Phaedra will light shade you, but then you have to come back and shade her back, and then she'll just leave it alone. But if you can't get it wrong, she's just going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Fuck all that. If I ain't got no issue with you, don't fucking shade me and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm going to catch on. That's the girl, Demetria, you should have shaded her ass right the fuck back. So when Cynthia and them come, they come down there, 
And once again, see, this is what I don't like. I don't like going from person to person to person, okay? You told the person that you're cool with, you know, or a phase you're cool with about her, and they told you how it is, and then you go go tell Kenya and them. And I'm like, Kenya, of course, she takes the opportunity to say and put it out there. That's how she did with me. And, you know, she's going to rear her ugly head. This is Roger that she know and all this stuff. And I'm like... I thought that y'all was kind of like dead y'all issue for the moment and said that y'all wasn't going to speak on each other's shit, but yet you speaking on each other. And I'm like, you know, like, like if y'all, even if, if, if they didn't say that, that's what the fuck they need to do. You don't speak on me and I don't speak on you. And Dimitri, quit going around telling this person this and this person that about what happened so that you can cause this little messy division a little bit, because even if that's not your intention, that's what's going to happen. And, you know, of course they're going to have a different thing to say. You got, you know, Candy Little Group saying a little bit positive on, oh, that's just Phaedra. But then you got, you know, Kenya and them, they like, you know, giving more so of their version of what happened because of what, oh, that happened to me. That That is what happened to her, but, you know, it is what it is. I just wish that Demetri didn't go around to each person and say that. If you have an issue, go to Phaedra and sell it to her. But then, here's when the shit get fucked up a little bit more. You got Nene and uh, Phaedra coming. They being shady up in the car. Then when they finally get there, they meet um Demetrius little hair stylist, her stylist, her glam, glam squad and all that stuff. And then in the confessional, Phaedra was like, you know, when you get into arenas and you're selling out arenas and you're opening up for the likes of Beyonce and Mariah Carey, then you've done something. But then when you see her little glam squad, he was like, oh, so you pulled it together or whatever, some shit like that. Oh, this is on point. And old boy was like, what you mean? She was like, girl, I ain't trying to shade you. I'm complimenting you because if I if I didn't care, I wouldn't say nothing. And I, they was like, okay, we always on point. And I'm just sitting here like, where's all this shit coming from? What did Demetria do to you, Phaedra? She just out here trying to get her coin, and then here goes she in the um, confessional. Oh, she winning. She winning. Got your little squad tonight. I'm like, what? Let the bitch have her shit, okay? You want to feel important? Go out there and get you a big case and win it, okay? Let this girl come out here and do what she got to do. She ain't have to invite you for you to be treating her the way that she treating you unless there's something going on that we didn't know. Okay, you questioning her relationship. You asking what she's doing. You you like why are you gonna sing gospel? Are you gonna sing pop? Why are you do, doing it so late? And then you're just shading everything that she doing. It's like so fucking unnecessary. And that's why some people probably don't like you, Phaedra, because you are nice, nasty, just like Mimi. You are. You being just like that. I just don't get it. I really don't. Get it together, bitch. And the same thing applies to Nene. You see your room and you see it's a little bit small. Oh, this is small, but I know how to make do with what I get and what I got. Girl, shut the fuck up. It's free. Take that shit. You ain't paying for it, girl. So if I skip some part, who give a fuck? We're going to get straight to the end of this shit because I'm tired of talking about it, but this is what everybody been waiting for. They love to do this. Get the good shit to the end. So this is what had happened, right? Everybody gets there, you know, everybody's together, and a lot of people start noticing, you know, at first it's like, hey girl, hey girl, how you doing? But, you know, you just start noticing that people not really giving Demetria the respect that she deserves and, you know, saying thank you or whatever the fuck and, and, and acknowledging the fact that she's there and she's the one that put this shit together for them. And that's what we, I was saying, like, come on, what, what, what the fuck are you doing? So they all together at the table talking or whatever. And I don't know. I can't remember if Phaedra said something, but she did come off. And I, I Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. She did kind of say something. I'm pretty sure she probably did say something shady. Start up this is almost full. Fuck, I can't stand that. Okay. But anyway, she did say something kind of shady because then that's when Demetria just was like, fuck, we finna go here right then and there. Here it is. You know, you coming all shady towards me and, you know, the comments about my age and, you know, I should sing gospel and this in the studio and yada, yada, yada. And, you know... Talking about, did I do crack and all this stuff because I played a crackhead on TV? Here goes Phaedra. Well, I asked that question because, you know, people do or used to be some of the stuff that they play on TV. And I'm sitting here like, Phaedra, Phaedra. I can say this again and again. I like Phaedra. But, bitch, you know, you're doing a little bit too much. And it's like, own up to the fact that your ass is being shady as fuck and you being petty as shit, okay? And you being bitchy and catty for no fucking reason. You know, 
for once, I'm here for what Claudia said when Claudia was like, y'all sitting here, you being shady, you being bitchy, you being catty. And it's just not called for. Y'all sitting here acting like fucking high schoolers because, you know, Demetria called her out. You got Nene over here, he, uh, he hauling and all this stuff with, uh, I don't know, Portia or whoever the fuck, uh, probably, can, um, uh, 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 Phaedra, whoever the fuck on her side, you know, kind of like instigating a little bit, not trying to calm it down, but throwing her little two cents in. And then Cynthia, like, basically what Phaedra is trying to say is, I mean, uh, what Demetria is trying to say is, if you, you know, she felt as if you was being shady. If you wasn't being shady, just say, I apologize if you felt that I was being shady. And then here come Nene. I don't feel like, why this side feel this way and then this side feel this way? Like, she should apologize if she don't feel sorry for something. I'm sitting here like... The girl feel like you shaded the fuck out of her. Everybody know what the fuck shade is. And Phaedra, I don't give a fuck how stupid you want to play. You not dumb as fuck, okay? You know what the fuck you were doing. And you know you shaded the shit out that girl. And you know you been shading the shit out that girl. And you continue to shade her. Even when you was trying to so-called, I guess, make amends or whatever. You were still shading her under your breath. And I'm sitting here like, how can... And I can't stand when motherfuckers got friends like that. That a big themselves up. Big the friend up. And I tell her, girl, now you know that was wrong you should apologize no you just gonna continue with going on with them that's fucking nene okay and then when cynthia opens up her mouth you want to attack her for once i was here for cynthia okay cynthia was like well this ain't here come nene well if you wasn't there you don't need to say nothing and you don't need to be talking to me because we were actually there well bitch she sees what's going on right about now at this table okay and what you're doing is fucked up it's petty as shit it makes for good drama but it's petty as shit okay and Cynthia was right, okay? Claudia, she was right in what she said. She was like, bitch, I may be quiet, but, you know, don't let that shit fool you. What you doing, y'all sitting here being catty, y'all being pe uh, petty, y'all being bitchy and all this stuff. And next thing you know, here come Nene, something, I don't know. It struck a nerve with Nene because Nene felt the, uh, felt the way. And next thing you know, Claudia was like, well, at least I ain't make my money being off of, um, um, being off on um a pole or whatever and then she was like bitch i've been in the business for 17 years never had to be on a pole or whatever like that here go nene okay and and i was in college too and all this stuff and she was like well i ain't never been arrested bitch you've been bankrupt and yes i've been arrested in my 20s and all this stuff and they was just going back and forth i must say because people was hyping up claudia People was hyping up Claudia in this little read that she, or this little so-called joke that she said in the confessional about, you know, Nene going out, bound her hair, and her hair looking like a pack of uncooked Roman noodles. That wasn't even funny to me, but I give her A for effort. I ain't even going to take it away from Claudia. I ain't going to shade her. I ain't going to, you know, we shaded her at the beginning, but she did it in this episode because she held her on against Nene. Bitch, did she held, held her on. She did because Nene had some stuff. And she came right back at her. I don't give a fuck if I thought it was weak. But, bitch, some of the stuff was a little bit weak. But she was doing her homework. She got me when she said, bitch, oh, you college educated. Spell bridesmaids. Okay, don't you know that the S is not silent? I said, fuck it. This bitch been studying the last seasons or so. She knew what the fuck. King was like, girl, I want you to go home and watch this. Look at all this and point this out. Yada, 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 yada. I said, well, fuck, Claudia. Let me just sit back and watch the rest of this, okay? Because... I had to give it to her, like, girl, you was going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and you did not, she did not back down, and Nene couldn't handle that a little bit, she couldn't handle that, and you want to know how she couldn't handle that, because after all of that, you know, here go Nene, you want what I got, bitch, I don't want what you got, you got a slave as a husband, you got this as that, and yada, 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 and then here come Nene with the, oh, but, um, something about her pussy and how she um your pussy loose or whatever and it's been all over hollywood and you know use a whore and your click is loose or whatever your click driving whatever the fuck she's saying she had to take it down that route i was like see you know when you touch the nerve when they really go in like that or attempt to go in or think they going in but all in all claudia kind of won that for me even though some of it was i think claudia could have came a little bit harder but she kind of won that for me because you know, she stood up to the uh, the big bitch, okay? She stood up, and she didn't back down. See, that's what we need more on, I guess. Fuck it. I guess that's the reason why Claudia on the um, damn show, because... But when Demetria told Phaedra, bitch, you don't know nothing about me. The only thing that we got together is the number eight. 
okay? I got eight years going in. Your husband going, uh, you got eight years going out. I said, oh, fuck. Y'all crazy. The shade was just unbearable. But <laughs> it was funny. And I'm glad. I See, I can dislike a person and I cannot understand why they on the show. But if you show me something, I can, you know, give you your props. And Claudia, you kind of won that for me. I can't even shade your ass for that. But, Phaedra, you was doing too fucking much. I don't know if you was PMSing. I don't know if your period was on or if it was going off. You was cramping that night or whatever the fuck. Apollo called you and said some dumb shit to you. I don't fucking know. You didn't get the dick that you wanted that day. I don't know what was going on, but you was wrong. You was 100% wrong. There is no ifs and buts or, you know, defending about it. So, it is what it is. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about it, and I'll see y'all later. Bitch, I would have been like everybody else. I would just sit back and watch, like... Mm-hmm, because they know they wrong. They know they wrong. But anyway, y'all tell me how y'all feel. This is a long video, and I'll see y'all later.